Hello, this is Shotoken9, also known as Kairyuken, with a tutorial on the Broken Vision screen pack. Now, I don't know everything about this screen pack, but I'm just going to show you all the stuff that I know about it, like installing it or other stuff that a couple people ask me about. Okay, now, um, so if you already like extracted it, just open it up, and you'll see the data folder and the plugins folder. Here's the README. Just think, if you l open this up, you'll see right here. It'll it tells you how to like, um, like you know, add more slots to it. You know, I um I posted a tutorial on how to do that, but you might notice that it's deleted because I'm making this all of all the information that I'm gonna tell you. You know about the screen pack. Anyway, you could read this or you can like watch the rest of this video anyway let's get out of the readme now since you see the data folder in the plugins folder you don't really need the readme but if you wanted to like put that in the your motion doesn't matter anyway I'm just gonna do these two so just take it copy it cut it whatever you want to do I'm just gonna copy it now go to your motion folder or you know whatever you call it now, then you click, right click, paste, yes to all, should go. Now you see that you replaced it with the uh, original ones. <coughs> now I'm just gonna go into the data folder, and you see that everything is different, like the broken vision folder, the broken 98 folder and all the other stuff that came with it okay here here's um here's how it works the select this original one it doesn't work it it's not it's not like you know it um it has a new one in here see look broken motion is the is the def's file here's the font files the sprite files, the sound files, and the whatever that is. Um, go to the def file, you see, okay, maybe not that one. I mean, yeah, whatever, you can go in there and you see the system. I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, go back, go to broken 98 and b98 file. Anyway, you see all that stuff. All that's the new stuff. And if you want to see the the real select, it's right here. Broken select. That's the that's the one that works. Not this one. It's this one. Okay. See, so look. We we'll open it up, and we see all the the things, the, the random selects. You know, the all the stuff. And um, I'll tell you how to like add more slots to it right now. I guess. Anyway. Since we went back here, we're kind of familiar with it. You see the system 56, system 273, and s system 693. Now that's gonna like, each system is like different because of the slots. Okay, let's go back, back. Now we should see, motion, uh, hold it, here it is. Motion.cfg. Now, if it's not like, you know, it's not a notepad file, just go to properties and um, just change to notepad. Yeah. Anyway, open it up. Now you see this. A lot of people ask me what was I pointing at? Like what was I what was I talking about? I was talking about this thing, it's called a uh, uh, you know I forgot. Uh, I forgot I forgot what that was called. Anyway, okay now we go back. You don't don't exit out of it. Well you can but then you had to open it up again. Anyway, see, remember when I was talking about this system 56, system 273, and system uh, 693? The, the numbers um, are the how many slots you want 56 slots, 273, etc. etc. Anyway, go back here, you'll see that it's the same thing. Now, these little markings usually end up here because it, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want it to show up or like you know, it doesn't read it. The ones that's not marked with the this thing, it means that it's that's reading it. So let's see. Right now, it's at 56 since it doesn't have uh, 
whatever it's called, you know, I can't really remember what it's called. It's at 56 slots, system 56, because it's reading um, system 56. Now, if you want, like, 273, like I said in the last one, or something, yeah, anyway, just, like, erase that one, and then put a, another one there. See? Same thing for here. If you want to just erase that one, then put one here. Now, it's at 693 slots right now. Uh, well, at least when I save. Now, when I go back here, it's at 273 when I, when I save. See, watch. I'll show you. Hold on. Well, hmm. Yeah, I guess so. We're not going to save yet. Now go back, back, back again. We'll just open this up. If I didn't install it right, then I guess. Oh well. Doesn't matter. See how it's at 56 right now? God, that's loud. Anyway, it's at 56 right now. See it? Okay. Back. Back to the data folder. And you see the, the, oh, crap, what else? Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, go to the motion file. Now, um, since this is at 56, let's change it to, uh, let's say, 273 again. Okay. See, now, it looks exactly like this if you want 273. Okay, since you, like, take off the mark. Now, file, save. Now, we exit, go back, then open it up again, see now it's at 273, that wasn't so hard was it, anyway, <laughs> no, anyway, okay, now one more thing, I think, I'm not sure, if I can think of something else, then I guess it'll be more things, anyway, Okay, I think someone asked me if they wanted to make like like extra slots, like hidden slots or something. I don't I don't think you can do that with this scrim pack. I think you can do it with other ones, but I'm not sure with this one. Oh wait. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Broken select. Okay. If you want like a hidden select, no, I'm not sure if you can do it with this one, because I think I tried. But if you're willing to like try it and yeah. Since it has all these random selects that means it it's the slots are filled and if you add more to these and if it works then it'll have like slots let's say i wanted to have another kung fu man right there i added kung fu man random or stage whatever you want and it doesn't really matter then that means it would have you know let, let's just see if it works let's just see if it works okay exit back The regular kung fu man right there. No, more, more one. <laughs> Crap. No, I guess you can. But here's a way you can. You um, well, slightly, but it's not gonna be hidden. You can delete all the random selects, and it will just leave it all blank. See, watch this. It'll. Well, you don't not delete all of them. But here's a good way you can you can replace all of these with blanks and then at the last ones like let's say let's down let's do this and let's put KFM random anyway let's do like four I guess I guess I like I don't know. Anyway, exit, back. I'll show you right now. Watch. Okay, um, you could replace all the question marks, which are random selects, with, um, with blanks, if you have, like, a lot of time. Well, I'm not sure if it would take a long time, but, well, you know what I mean. And then you could, like, you could put the characters down here as bonus stages, but that's pretty much all I could think of you could do. And... Hmm. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, anything else? No.
nope. I guess that. I guess that's all. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, Shoto Ken Nine, also known as Kairu Ken. Uh, so yeah.